in the fight against climate change. And here in Rochester, three Brighton High School teens are leading the charge in their community. Stephanie Golden shows us how. The fight for climate change for these three teenagers is hitting close to home. I'm concerned that if we don't address this issue now, my future will suffer and the future of my generation will suffer. For those who don't believe climate change is real, 17-year-old Radesh Singh says... Climate change is happening right here and its effects are occurring right here in our backyard. The water levels of Lake Ontario has steadily been rising over the past decades. Inspired by the words of Greta Thunberg... People are suffering. People are dying. Entire ecosystems are collapsing. The teens will be leading a global march here in Rochester tomorrow to bring awareness to the community. The most important aspect of this march is to encourage action and encourage our governments to do more to combat the climate crisis and do it faster. They are fighting for their lives, their future, their home. It is our responsibility to care about our future and by working to solve this issue, that is one way we can do this. The society as a whole do doesn't wake up to the facts. We're going to see a future that is unlivable, and I do not want to have that future as a youth. Now, Rochester area youth will kick off the march at the Rochester City Hall tomorrow. It starts at 3.30 in the afternoon. The march will go through downtown Rochester and end at the federal building. The event is open to concerned citizens of all ages. Maureen? All right, Stephanie, thank you. Rochester Youth Climate Leaders, Metro Justice, and Rochester's People's Climate Coalition are just some of the organizations that will participate in tomorrow's march.